But as it can get for a, a hurricane of this uh, this size and power, the eye well defined, uh, and so it is forecast to continue to uh, to strengthen. The official forecast from the National Hurricane Center actually brings it up to a Category Four hurricane a little bit later on today, with winds now as high as 140 miles an hour. So and that is stronger than the previous forecast. And then you'll notice it moves across some of the southern islands here as a category four. Watch how it gets very, very close to the island of Jamaica there. Uh, the uh, it, they're actually in the forecast cone. If you take it right down the center, obviously a little bit south, uh, but again, it's possible that it could make a direct hit or it could brush the island of uh, Jamaica and then continue to head toward the, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, but anywhere in this area. You'll notice the uh, the wind field associated with it. Again, a lot of these hurricane force winds are expected to at least impact the southern shore of Jamaica and then continue to move through the Caribbean. And this forecast model does take it over the Yucatan into the southern Gulf of Mexico or the Bay of Campeche. Uh, within that forecast cone, there's obviously some degree of uncertainty. So if it tracks a little bit further north, it may have more impacts on a Texas. But the bottom line is uh, this doesn't happen. It doesn't get into the uh, the Gulf until we get into late in the week or really next weekend. And right now it looks like this storm will be staying well south of the, the northern Gulf Coast or the Alabama coast anyway.